Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's Trader Joe's haul. Uh, so this week there wasn't a lot of new items. I believe there was two new items this week. Um, my store had one of them but I did not purchase it. It just did not sound very good to us and we've been buying tons of food lately. Uh, but I will share with you that item. I did take a video of it in store. And then the second new item, my store does not have it. I did not find it anywhere. Um, so I will share with you that item just like what I found online of it. Um, so hopefully your guys' stores has it if you do happen to find it. Um, whenever my store does get in stock, I will be purchasing that second item though and I will be trying it for you guys. So there will be no taste test video this week, unfortunately. But I hope you guys are having a good holiday season and yeah, let's get into this. So speaking of the holidays, we had to pick this up. This is the Jingle Jangle. It's a fun mix of fan favorite candy treats. It's in this tin. It's a really nice tin. You could definitely reuse this. Uh, so yeah, I had to pick this up. This is a staple. Let me share with you what's in here. So uh, there's milk chocolate candies, dark chocolate enrobed Jojo cookies. We've got the milk and dark chocolate mini peanut butter cups, which are a fan favorite at Trader Joe's. Over here, we've got the milk and dark chocolate covered pretzels, dark chocolate covered caramel popcorn. Yum, that sounds really good. And then there's like a picture of all the stuff in there. So yeah, this is a great little collection. You could definitely bring it with you um, to any like holiday events that you're going to. That would be really great. Um, so yeah, I had to pick that up. I always pick at least one or two easy dinners for the week, especially the days that we have therapy after school. We get home really late. Uh, so this is this week's one. We are gonna do the mandarin orange chicken and and of course, we're gonna pair it with the vegetable fried rice. These two items go so good together. So we got that. Over here, I'm gonna be doing a buffalo chicken pasta dinner this week. So I grabbed the penne pasta as well as some cream cheese and then I had everything else for it. So this week, I always write out my grocery list. Like I, I plan everything that we're gonna be making the week for dinner and then I write out like my grocery list. I completely forgot it at home today. So I haven't even checked my grocery list. I'm hoping that I've managed to remember everything that I needed, um, but I still don't even know if I grabbed everything. Hopefully I did, because I definitely do not want to go run back out to the grocery store. Um, but we're also going to be doing some chili this week. So here's some ingredients for that. I picked up the roasted corn. This one's great. I love like the little roasted. I also like the elote corn too, but they did not have that one. Um, so I settled for just the plain roasted corn over here. Here's some beans for that. Of course, we grabbed the organic kidney beans. And then I like to add black beans in mine too. And then I also picked up the diced and fire roasted tomatoes. I had everything else. Um, I usually get like my tomato sauce and stuff like that at Costco, but I definitely need to make a run at Costco because I'm running low on that kind of stuff. I grabbed the Trader Joe's taco seasoning mix over here. This one's really spicy, so you definitely wanna be careful. You wanna sprinkle it sparingly. Uh, we grabbed the organic spicy taco sauce. It's been a long time since we picked this one up. Really great. I don't find it very spicy at all. It really reminds me of the Taco Bell hot sauce, but we picked some of that up. Some enchilada sauce. We're gonna be doing like a Mexican meal over here. And then we picked up the mini sweet peppers. I have not had like the mini sweet peppers in so long, but I've been craving them. I'm definitely gonna be using this in my salads this week, so that's why I picked that up. I think I already showed you the cream cheese to go with that dinner over here. These are great. Me and Lakeland really love these. I grabbed these for her to put in her lunches because she just loves a good spicy nut. So these ones are the chili and garlic cashews. Really great. Uh, I like those ones. It has like a mild spice, nothing too much. The buffalo ones are definitely more spicy than this and she loves those ones too. Uh, we grabbed this cheese mix over here, the shredded Swiss cheese and Gruyere. This one's a great blend. Some more beans, we grabbed the refried uh, fat-free beans and then we also just grabbed a tin of the black beans over here. Some feta cheese for my salads and then some organic medley tomatoes. Okay, you guys, this is becoming a weekly staple over here. I had to pick this mix up again. This one is the Stepping It Up Spicy Snack Mix. This does not last long in our house. It is so good. And I will say this one is officially our favorite, but they're both great. But if I had to choose one, we definitely like the spicy one better in this house over here. 
I grabbed some Greek uh, non-fat yogurt. Lakeland was loving the yogurt last week. She ate them all. So I just add a little honey in there, mix it up, and that's it, and she loves it. So that's a really great, easy breakfast for her in the mornings. This is my favorite balsamic um, that Trader Joe's carries, and I'm gonna be doing salads next week for lunch, and then I use this to make a balsamic vinaigrette for my salads. Oh, there is Rex, the cat. You, do you wanna come say hello? There he is. Apparently he wanted to come say hello. <laughs> okay, now let's finish this haul. We have got the organic tea and lemonade. We have never purchased this before, but Brent has been saying he wanted something to drink and he loves tea, so I grabbed that for him. I will have to let you know what he thinks of it, but I'm sure he will love it. He loves like a good tea and lemonade combo. And then I grabbed the cornbread mix for our chili. We love Trader Joe's cornbread. This one is so good. I would definitely say it's my favorite cornbread, like out of all the grocery stores, it's delicious. And then this is the last item. It sounded really intriguing, so I picked it up. This one is Trader Joe's Vintage Spiced Ale. So it's a dark ale brewed with spices, 9% uh, for the whole bottle. Sounds interesting. I think Brent is actually really gonna like this. I don't know, I'm really curious to see what this one's gonna taste like. Okay, so if you guys wanna read that, but it says that it is a rich, dark, full-bodied ale with a fine and generous coffee-colored beige foam. It's ready to enjoy, and then it says that you can, um, it pairs really well with like meats and fish and stuff like that. Okay, so let me share with you the two new items this week. If you guys happen to find them in your store and you guys want them, let me share with you those items now. Okay, so we have these brand new raisin walnut apple bars. Sounds very intriguing, it's $5.99. And then here are the nutrition facts and the ingredients on them. Next is the peanut noodle bowl with chicken. This one sounds so good, but my store did not have it in stock. So hopefully you guys have better luck this week and you guys are able to find it. Okay guys, that was it for the haul this week. A little bit shorter, but I hope you guys still enjoy. And we will see you next week, bye.